Hi friends, I am so glad that you came back to see me again this week. I heard that you've been really worried about some things that are coming up. You're just having a hard time relaxing, releasing, and just getting out of your head about what's been going on, right? So, I'm so glad that you came in today because today's session is designed specifically for you, okay? So we're going to really work on our perception of what it is that we worry about in the first place and kind of get to the root cause of it, do a little bit of healing to help put us in flow with life so that we aren't spending so much time worrying about things that are more than likely out of our control. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a smoke cleanse. So as always, I have some incense that we'll be using. This is this is my dragon's blood incense. So we will be using the incense to cleanse our space that we're working in and begin to cleanse away any energy from the day, the week, the month, the year. So, <clears throat> we're going to, as I said, use the smoke to begin to just clear our space of any energy that's not going to serve us or this session, okay? And the smoke is going to begin to drift into our energetic body and as it does we're going to allow it to pick up any energy that is not serving us any energy that we have picked up from other people that we're now carrying with us we're going to begin to let that going to start at the crown of your head, work my way down the front of the body, then I'm going to come down your right side, down the left side. And, excuse me, down the back. Okay. And then we'll just 
I'm going to cleanse my energy for a second. Alright, I think that's good. So we'll set this off to the side to burn for the remainder of this session. And I did make you a cup of tea for this session. I have some fresh spearmint and strawberry mint from my garden. And so this tea, I picked mint for today because it's very cooling and calming. And I feel like when you inhale the smell of mint, um, it clears your mind almost. It really just kind of gets rid of some of that funk and mental fog. So I thought mint would be perfect for this session to work on letting go of our need to worry. It's just a pretty little flower cup yellow flowers and the blue ones so nice and calming so I will set that off to the side for you to enjoy during this session So today we're going to work with three different chakras. We're going to be working with the third eye chakra, the sacral chakra, and the root chakra. Okay. And we're going to start with our third eye chakra, which is located right in between our brows. This is where our wisdom and intuition lies, where our perception of the world around us resides, and that is why we are going to specifically work with the third eye chakra, so that we can work on our perception of things around us. Quite often, we tend to worry about things going on because we allow our judgments and assumptions to get in the way of seeing the truth. Okay, so we sort of come pre-programmed to assume these things about certain situations or people or anything that's going on, right? And we worry that things aren't going to go the way we think they should, or people aren't going to do what we think they should, that type of thing, right? That's what we're always typically worrying about, is things not going the way we want them to go. So, we're going to work on healing that third eye so that we can see our life with a clear point of view and a clear focus and allow us to look at everything in a non-judgmental, non-critical way and hopefully remove some of that worry, okay? So, we are going to start working on the third eye chakra simply by doing some EFT tapping. So, we are going to take the pointer finger and the middle finger and we're going to tap right here in between our brows on our third eye okay and as we tap there we are just beginning to loosen up any sort of energy in there that is blocking us from seeing the truth okay so we're just Gently tapping it and shaking it up, okay? So I'm going to do it for you.
tapping right here. So now that we've kind of stirred up some of that energy, things that were blocking you from having a clear perception, a clear view of the world, I'm going to just pluck a few of them out, okay? Because we want to get that stuff out of the way. that you can see clearly. So our judgments, our assumptions, those things that have been programmed into us via family, advertising, experiences, we're just letting go of some of that so that we can begin to look at life without judgment or assumption. Stay in the present moment. All right, I think that looks really, really good. So next, I'm just going to use this halite stone. It's this very beautiful white stone with little veins of gray running through it. Halite is a very calming stone and it promotes patience, presence, and clear perspective. So we are going to use this to press in some healing energy into the third eye, allowing us to be patient, stay present, and have a clear perspective. So we'll just gently press this three times. Press. 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 All right, that looks really good. Okay, so next we are going to move down and work with the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is where our ability to be fluid and flexible and go with the flow in life resides. And for obvious reasons, if we are able to more easily go with the flow in life, not always trying to fight the current, us trying to make events turn out the way we want them to turn out, um, which brings in that worry, right? So we're going to work on opening up this chakra so that we more easily go with the flow in life. So for the sacral chakra, since we're working on being fluid and going with the flow, I've brought in some rose water that we're going to be working with. And we're going to use the rose water to anoint the sacral chakra. I chose rose water to uplift the spirit, keep the spirit feeling lighthearted. Typically, when we're in a more lighthearted mood, it's a little bit easier to be fluid, flexible, and flow with life. So, just going to of this. I'm going to 
take the rose water and just anoint the sacral chakra area which is located right below the belly button near the womb space I'm not actually touching your skin I'm just gently anointing the energetic area And then of course we will take the halite to press in the healing energy. We're just going to press it three times on the sacral chakra. So chakra, our right to be here and live this life and have our basic need meds. Those types of um, rights are located in our root chakra. So quite often if our root chakra is not balanced and active, um, there's a lot of fear-based thinking going on and of course that can lead to worry. So we're just going to take a second to ground down through our root chakra. I have this beautiful geode that we'll be using to help you ground down. It's a nice heavy geode. going to set this down by your root chakra and take a second to visualize the geode connecting with your root chakra. It's really strengthening the root chakra and imagine if you will that from your root chakra you have vines just growing down around this geode, reaching down into the earth, connecting you with Mother Nature. Those roots remind you that you have a right to be here, you have a right to work for the things you want in life, you have a right to be heard and be you. Still visualizing the root chakra connected to the earth. We're going to take three deep breaths together to anchor into this moment, anchor into this session. So inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Really good. And of course, I'm going to use the halite again to gently press its healing qualities into your root chakra. So we'll just press. Alright you guys, so that brings us to the end of the session. We've worked on the third eye chakra. We'll just end with a very quick aura fluff. Just freshen and lift all of that energy work up that we've just done.
then a quick little spray. I have some water with the um, lemon essential oil. Okay, so just to kind of brighten you up, freshen you up. Okay, so we'll just do a quick little. this week. I hope that you enjoyed the session. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That is the best way you can support me right now and it means so much to me every time someone likes one of my videos or subscribes or comments. So please do so down below. Okay, and I will see you guys on Sunday for a yin yoga session to help release worry from our lives. All right.